Hi everyone, so today's review is going to be on IGK Thirsty Girl Shampoo and Conditioner. They are the anti-frizz conditioner and the anti-frizz shampoo, coconut milk, so that's what it's based. Um, for those of you who are interested in IGK as a whole, I'm also going to link below in the description box the review of the other IGK shampoo and conditioners that I reviewed. One of them was the Hot Girls one. Um, that's also a hydrating shampoo and also IGK styling products. So I'll put those links in the description box below. Now on to this review. The, I'm going to start with the IGK Thirsty Girl um, Anti-Frizz Shampoo. So this is 8 ounces, $25. Um, each of these are $25. So it's 50 bucks for the set. Uh, $25 for 8 ounces. You can get it on Sephora.com online or you can go into the store and purchase it. I will say this about um, both the Thirsty Girl and the Hot Girls conditioners. They have really good slip to them, but I'm going to tell you what I don't like about them. So the shampoo is in this type of packaging. It's a bottle packaging. You open it by squeezing up. Let me show you. So this is like, this is what the shampoo looks like. It's a mixture of being watery and super, super thick. Um, it's almost a lotion-y texture, and I didn't like that. Um, it does not smell anything like coconut to me. It smells like a floral scent. Which is ironic because the Hot Girls shampoo and conditioner smell way more like coconut than the coconut milk anti-frizz uh, shampoo. So I found that to be ironic. I did not like the shampoo at all. Um, it, it felt like I was massaging lotion into my hair and it was kind of disgusting to me if I'll be honest. It was like, it says it's for all hair types. I, as you can see, have very coarse, thick, frizzy hair and um, if any type of hair this would should work on or do well with is my type of hair but it's a very thick lotiony texture so if you have fine hair you're definitely not going to like this it's going to feel very greasy if you have hair like mine I still didn't like it because it literally feels like you are massaging lotion in your hair as I said it, it's got um, coconut milk in it so it's supposed to nourish and hydrate I don't smell the coconut um, it says it's meant for frizzy hair. It is also vegan, cruelty, and gluten-free, UV protection, petroleum and mineral oil-free, paraben, and sulfate-free, SLS or SLES. So that's a good part about this. It has, I guess, no bad stuff in it. It says it has patented hyaluronic acid technology to hydrate and protect against frizz and smooth hair. So I would say it's not a big anti-frizz um, type of thing so I've used this and I have to put additional product to keep it from frizzing up. I will say it did smooth it out a little bit but you still need additional product to keep the frizz away. As I said it's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's gluten free. This does not lather very well um, and maybe it's because of the thick lotiony texture but it doesn't have a lot of lather. Um, it's not does not smell like coconut so if you're looking for the coconut smell you won't find it in this one. And it just feels heavy. Um, it felt like it weighed my hair down. Yes, at the end, the conditioner did make my hair a little bit softer and maybe a little smoother, but just the heaviness and the smell, I didn't like it. It's a very kind of, to me, overpowering floral type of smell. So I didn't like that. The conditioner, this is the conditioner. It is also a fluid ounces, $25. So for the set, it's 50 bucks. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Again, the same type of packaging. So on this one, I actually, what I don't like about these conditioners is that it's very hard for it to come out, maybe because it's so thick. This is what the conditioner looks like. It is very, very, very thick. So this is also kind of a lotion-y texture, but when you put it in your hair, it has a really good slip. So it does detangle. I did prefer the conditioner over the shampoo um, in this set. But overall, I would give this a pass. I would say thumbs down on both of these because for $25 each and $50 for the set, this did nothing to wow me. I mean, it didn't really defrizz my hair like it was supposed to. Um, I don't think it's worth the $25, to be honest with you. I think there are better drugstore uh, shampoos and conditioners out there like there's one that's the L'Oreal um, sulfate free ones that's for smooth hair um, I like that one better and it smells nice this almost 
didn't do anything. It, I can't even say that it smells good, at least with the Hot Girls Hydrating Shampoo, I could say I really like the smell. It smelled like coconut, but I really don't have anything great to say about either of these two. So that's my review um, for the IGK Thirsty Girl Coconut Anti-Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, it would be a hard pass for me. Hope you liked my review. Um, if you did, uh, like, please like, share, subscribe. You can click the subscribe box below um, and hit the notification um, bell if you want to see future videos. Um, also, I'm going to link, link down the other IGK products that I reviewed in case you want to watch those videos. Until next time, YouTube. Bye. Thanks for watching.